Hello artists! Today we're gonna learn how to paint an abstract landscape. It's gonna have some mountains that will dissolve in the horizon and then a blue sky with some clouds. First important thing, as you see, I've chosen a landscape format for my paper and I need to decide how much space to allocate for the mountains and how much for the sky. I usually use um, a bit less than half of the page for the mountains or in this case almost a third of the space for the mountains and the rest is for the sky. First thing that I'm going to do is to trace the outline of the mountains that is closest to us that would also be the darkest mountain so the more the mountain is close to you the more is dark then I create the second one and I'm gonna add maybe one here that would be possibly the second last one and maybe one more across in this way. Looking at my work I realized I will add a couple of other really really in the in the distance to give um, more perspective uh, to my work. So now it is um, time to start painting and I'm going to use blue and I think a bit of green for my um, darkest mountain. So as I said to you before, the mountain closest to us is the darkest one. Um, at the moment I chose blue and green, but you can really uh, decide what are your favorite color. It can be also more abstract and you can decide to use uh, purple or pink. In this case I've chosen some realistic colors, so natural color that I can see in the landscape around me. Um, another interesting thing is once your artwork will be dry you can add more color and details using um, color pencils for example. So then I will show you how. Now for my second uh, mountain I would keep the same color but I would add more water so I would make um, the second mountain lighter. If you realize it's already too light you can add some more green and blue because don't forget that we have several other mountains in the distance so we need to make sure the last one are going to be the lighter. So I carry on with the same idea, I'm adding water for the one after. I'm mixing this time, I'm adding a bit more blue so the color will be slightly uh, different and then more water and um, I will get until the last um, mountain. sky so I'm washing my paintbrush and I'm going to add a bit of blue and lots of water so my sky will be lighter. One of the important things when we paint the sky is to remember that the sky is not a line at the top 
but the sky actually is going down until it touches the landscape so it can be the hills the mountain or the water in the ocean I'm now adding a bit more blue so you can see through um, the space um, of the clouds and when you're happy you you let it dry and um, as I said before you can then start adding more contrast by using some color pencil and you decide what to add what colors and if you want to add details like bushes or trees it is almost time for you uh, to be creative and create your landscape don't forget to explore different colors and landscapes have fun